What is the phosphorus cycle? The phosphorus cycle has appeared in the UPSC prelims examination many times as a question as an option also. Phosphorus is an important element for all living organism. It forms a significant part of the structural framework of DNA and RNA. They are also very important component of ATP. Human contains 80% of phosphorus in teeth and bones. Phosphorus cycle is a very slow process. Various weather processes help to wash the phosphorus present in the rocks into the soil. Phosphorus is absorbed by the organic matter in the soil which is used for various biological processes. Since phosphorus and phosphorus containing compounds are present only in land, atmosphere plays no significant role in the phosphorus cycle. Let us have a brief look at the phosphorus cycle, its steps and the human impact on phosphorus cycle. Some of the important steps of phosphorus cycle are the following. Weathering, absorption by plants, absorption by animals, returning to the environment through decomposition, again weathering, phosphorus is found in the rocks in abundance. That is why the phosphorus cycle starts in the earth's crust. The phosphate salts are broken down from the rocks. These salts are washed away into the ground where they mix in the soil. And the phosphate salts dissolved in water are absorbed by the plants. However, the amount of phosphorus present in the soil is very less. That is why the farmers apply phosphate fertilizers on agriculture land. The aquatic plant absorb inorganic phosphorus from lower layers of water bodies. Since phosphate salts do not dissolve in water properly, they affect plant growth in aquatic systems. The animals absorb phosphorus from the plants or by consuming plant-eating animals. The rate of the phosphorus cycle is faster in plants and animals when compared to the rocks. Then how does this return back to the ecosystem? When the plants and animals die, they are decomposed by microorganisms. During this process, the organic form of phosphorus is converted into the inorganic form which is recycled to soil and water. Soil and water will end up in sediments and rocks which will again release phosphorus by weathering. Thus the phosphorus cycle starts over. What are some of the important human impact on phosphorus cycle? A number of human activities, use of fertilizers, Artificial eutrophication has a great impact on the phosphorus cycle. The phosphorus fertilizers increase the level of phosphorus in the soil. Overuse of these fertilizers reduces the fertility of the soil and is also harmful to the microorganisms present in the soil. When these are washed away into the nearby water bodies, they are very hazardous to aquatic life. During the shipping of food from farms to cities, the amount of phosphorus that is washed away in water cause eutrophication. This leads to growth of algae. These form algal blooms or dye which is toxic to the aquatic system. Phosphorus moves through the food chain as plants are consumed by herbivores which are then eaten by carnivores other higher tropical organisms. Phosphorus is incorporated into the tissues of organisms at each tropical level. Organic phosphorus compounds in the soil are mineralized by soil microbes converting organic phosphorus into inorganic forms such as phosphate ions. These phosphate ions are available for plant uptake. What happens when leaching or runoff happens? Excess phosphorus in the soil can be leached into groundwater or carried away by runoff during rainfall. Phosphorus can enter aquatic systems through runoff from agriculture fields, urban areas and wastewater discharges. Phosphorus can accumulate in sedimentary rocks over geological time scales. Through geological process such as sedimentation and tectonic activity, phosphorus can be stored in the earth's lithosphere for longer periods before being released through weathering and erosion.